Let me teach you how to save money using five easy tips on your Nest thermostat. Let's go. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Dial Home Tech. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use five awesome and easy tips on your current Nest thermostat to save money and improve the quality of the air inside your house. If you have a Nest thermostat at home and you're just using to turn your temperature up or down, you're doing it wrong. There's a lot more to it that you can take advantage as these five quick tips will show you how to take your usage of your thermostat to the next level. All right, the first tip I'm gonna talk to you guys about is sunblock. I'm gonna put a video right here on the side so it's easy for you guys to follow on how to get to these settings as I'm talking about them. The sunblock setting is specifically if you have your thermostat getting direct sunlight inside of your house. So if your thermostat is set up on the wall where you have a window nearby or a glass door or something where you get direct sunlight in it, chances are the sensors on the thermostat are going to read a little bit warmer than, it, than the actual temperature inside of your house. This feature is actually a good money saver in case you have that direct sunlight hitting the thermostat and it thinks it's so hot inside of your house all the time. So turning the setting on will dial down and calibrate the sensors on the thermostat by letting your AC adjust accordingly, knowing that your temperature is not actually so hot inside, uh, so then it'll let you set the temperature correctly based on the accuracy of the sensors um, in the thermostat. The second feature I wanna talk about is called the air wave. By turning the setting on, your system will stop cooling the house at some point and start using the fans to blow the cold air around so it doesn't need to push as much cold air all at once during the process of cooling down your home. If the house has already reached a certain temperature, the system will stop pushing as hard to keep the house cooler by just simply turning on the fans and making that existing cold air in the environment circulate a little bit better. So the house will stay cooler for a longer period of time and therefore saving you money because the AC is not running. Now the third tip here is auto schedule. I know a lot of you guys use that feature because after all, it is a smart learning thermostat. But for certain places, such as here in New England, the temperature changes on a dime. You can have a very hot day, but perhaps a cold night. So if the system is learning to do a certain pattern, one of the days it may be a little too cold at night for the AC to be running. So if you turn the auto schedule on, you have a little bit more control on places where the temperature changes a little bit more, where it fluctuates during the day and night. So if you're living in a place where the temperature is a little bit more uh, steady, you know, maybe Florida where it's literally hot all the time, this is a great feature to be used because it'll learn your patterns of when you want the house cool or when you want the house warm and it'll help you save money that way. So auto schedule, make sure that you're understanding what the temperature patterns you're using for and that's also a great feature for you to save money. All right, if you're staying with me, we're on to the fourth one and this one is called cool to dry. This feature will help you reduce and minimize humidity inside of your house and therefore creating a healthier air to breathe uh, in a cleaner environment without any mold growth or anything like that. Now the catch on this is that this will use a little bit more energy because this will cool your house a little bit beyond your cooling point and therefore it's not going to be saving you any money because your AC is working a little bit more. However, sometimes the trade-off for good quality air is a great investment of your money. Now the last tip I want to leave you guys with is buried within the settings of the Nest app and that's the set air filter change reminder. By turning this setting on, the app will alert you when it's time for you to change your air filter based on its usage. So it's not just something that's gonna pop up every three months or every six months, it'll inform you when it's the appropriate time for you to change your filter based on your usage. Unlike many other thermostats, they would just alert you every three months, every six weeks, or whatever the case may be, the Nest app will inform you when it's the appropriate time to change your filter based on the usage and the quality of your air. Again, if you want to invest in the quality of your air inside of your house to prevent any airborne diseases, definitely use this setting to let you know when it's the appropriate time to take care of your health. All right, guys, these are five quick tips that I've prepared for you to take your usage of your Nest thermostat to the next level. Now, if you're new here or if you enjoyed the tips I just gave, 
please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, here in this channel, we're talking about home technology, smart home automation, and doing tech reviews for your everyday tech around the house. If that's your cup of tea, then please consider subscribing to the channel. All right, guys, this about is gonna wrap it up for this one. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. And until next time, I'm Dial. See ya.